Yo, so we are here day one of our vlog everyday challenge. So I'm at work right now. I just got here this Saturday, September 1st, 5.30 in the morning. Yes. <laughs> Just almost tripped, but if you guys start watching these vlogs over there, you're gonna see him sleeping in the back room or sleeping in his van, which is located right behind my truck. Right there. Yo, what's up guys? So just got done coaching. Um, just knocked out four classes at a 545, 7, 8, 15, 9, 30. Um, awesome class today, it was a power day, so kicked everyone's butts. I'm off to home, I'm gonna try to get a lift in. I'm not gonna try to, I am gonna get a lift in, and I will get a run in, all right? I've been BSing my run, I got a marathon in uh, just about 29 days, 28 days. So today's the first, it's on the 29th. Um, I've really been slacking on my runs because I am not a big fan of running outside for long distance and obviously that's what a marathon is. So I'm going to go get those two things in. I got a family reunion today and uh, I'm going to make it happen. Let's do it. Yo, we are back in the home garage. I home garage. Fail. Yo, we are back in the home gym. I'm um, about to get a lift in. Just ate breakfast. had some eggs, um, some toast, and a blueberry muffin because it's Saturday and Blue muffins are delicious. So I'm gonna get this lift in. Camera, the lighting's bad. Uh, and I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna shoot for five or six miles. We'll see what happens. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna lift. I might just do, I'm coming off the million pounds, so I've been doing a lot of full body. Obviously, the past 18, 19 days of uh, August, I did full body workouts every day. So I might do um, maybe some chest and arms. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I ran six miles, uh, showered for five minutes cold, which was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And I'm gonna try to do that every single day for all of September. So six miles every day, more than that. I gotta run like 15 to 20 and start tapering down for this marathon, so. What's up guys? So it is 9.17 and it's a Saturday night. And I am about to make a peanut butter and jelly, eat some potato chips, and drink a beer. So this is what Saturday night looks like in the life. Um, I was debating about going out, but nah, I'm staying. I don't have a FOMO. I don't fear missing out on anything. I know how it goes going to the bar. Dude, hey, stop barking. Um, so, check it out.
motivational minute. All right, so again, we're gonna talk about goals, setting them, and how to crush them. So manifestation is something that I've really recently really started to believe in. Um, envisioning your goals, writing them down, looking at them every single day, envisioning them in your head, and saying them out loud. Uh, telling people public accountability, telling your coworkers, your friends, family, like this is what I want to do, this is how I'm going to do it, and going out and doing it. That way they can check back in on you, say, hey, I know a month ago you told me you wanted to lose 30 pounds or you wanted to save up this much money or you wanted to move to this position, whatever it might have been. Um, that's huge. So get a good team around you. Um, hang out with people that you want to be like. Or they drive a car you want to drive or they are in a position you want to be in. Like hang out with those people, learn from them. You're such a product of your environment, so surround yourself with good people who have high goals and who want to do well in life. And if you're around a team like that, but also you got to put the hard work in yourself. But surround yourself with good people. If you don't have anybody, surround yourself with you got to just do it yourself anyway. But knock out the hard work, write your goals down, look at them every single day, speak them out loud, manifest it, envision yourself being there, and the rest will follow.